Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I am so damn ex excited I cannot bear myself finally I have been waiting for this premium ships years I'm seriously guys I'm so damn ha happy I cannot uh, uh, imagine and uh, you know uh, you know I have to behave myself it's the new oncoming T61 it's finally here and you know if of some of you guys just want to wait a couple more days week or so you can purchase her and the rumor said it will cost around 4900 doubloons or 5000 doubloons something like that now what do i feel and this is the main question if you my dear subscriber like um playing the destroyer a little bit faster gameplay and so what is a damn good destroyer and what it's their flavor of destroy i know there's a lot of radars going on however the new oncoming t61 it's only a tier six you may argue there are some tier seven radar cruisers and some tier eight you will face tier eight sometimes but i'm not saying that you're gonna face all the time radar cruisers uh now most of you guys know that i am a destroyer captain i like to say one of most broken op ships in this game it's the uh, kamikaze r or fujin the tier five uh, destroyer but this is this is a pure uh, uh, gun not gunboat uh, torpedo boat and why it's so scary because let's face it guys I, I'm, I'm not joking if I'm playing in my tier 6 and tier uh, 7 battleship there's one thing I'm looking for uh, you know my enemy does the enemy team have one kamikaze R because I'm scared because that bugger if he's playing smart he will be invisible for entire game and he will torpedo me to death and the death are coming very sweet and almost no matter what the heck you do uh, you will be the torpedo by this ship if that captain it's good and especially if there's no aircraft carrier so what makes a destroyer any good in my honest opinion there's two things one stealth good damn fast torpedo and torpedo rearmed i repeat torpedo rearmed so i will talk you uh, very fast because i would like to m make a comparison uh, between t61 and the best tier for tier destroy in this game it's this bloody 68 knots 7 kilometers torps you may argue one of the powerhouse about this uh, destroy it's also the stupid fast re uh, reload of 47 seconds they do pretty whopping 14,400 damage for its tier it's massive however if you know that there is a destroyer and there is a kamikaze in the smoke you as a battleship hell not even a damn cruiser you don't go just charge it because in couple more seconds he might rearm uh, another you know she only has two 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 so it's only six torpedo at tier fives I repeat six bloody torpedoes at tier five uh, terrain fights and kill you battleships left and right but imagine if this bugger would have eight kilometers torps with almost as good speed eight torpedo and almost as fast rearm I'm not talking bound 47 but I'm talking about 60 what what it's the t 61 torpedo 62 62 seconds reload and this is without module without captain's perk because let's face it guys let's go to the fubuki fubuki guys it's a one of the best torpedo boat in this game at tier 6 why because she has shall i say pretty nifty uh, torpedo power nine freaking torpedo very hard hit things however they are slow those are not any great torpedoes 59 knots versus blistery t61 65 knots there is a big thing of course t61 
T61 only has 8 kilometers. However, guys, let's talk about the rearm of this bugger. Um, the concealment of Fubuki is worse than T61. T61 has 6.8, this one, the Fubuki, has 7 kilometers, which basically means, guys, this is something else also I like to say. The firepower of T61 is close to, not quite, it's close to Farragut's Sea Hall with only 4 guns. So, what I'm trying to say, guys, is that imagine a Daka Daka uh, Farragut with better concealment, or shall I say, yeah, it's slightly better concealment than Farragut with a whole lot better torpedo. There's nothing wrong with the torpedoes of this monster. It's 64 knots, it's not bad. They are 64 knots, which, you know, the damage are not great, but it reload 88 seconds and a very damn short uh, 6.4 kilometers. You may argue that sometimes uh, versus, uh, you know, close to an island or some uh, battleship are coming towards you, you can use your torps, but uh, this is just a damn bonus. I preferred hybrids like this uh, Fujin, which I, I, I personally believe it's pretty strong. Uh, the, the biggest downside with uh, Panasian destroyers, guys, you cannot go and torp other destroyers because you're only trying to gun uh, fight them. And by the way, let's talk about hit, point, hit points. The hit points of this bugger it's 14,100 and the T61 will have even more HP pool than the uh, Fushun. And this reload 5.3 seconds with right camel and right uh, captain. Your T61 captain, guys, you can reload stock 4 seconds, but if you have, let's say, Bay FT, you will re reload 3.6 seconds. Farragut has the highest damage per minute of any destroyer in this game, especially at tier 6. Thanks to five guns, T61 will only have um, four guns, but it's still a damn daka 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 daka. Uh, Fubuki reloads every 9.5 seconds, so I don't know what I say. Three salvo and uh, you know, uh, Fubuki have two salvo, and he, he, you you cannot fight any other destroyer with your Fubuki. Your 100% torpedo boat and. It's, it's just that. And same thing goes with Farragut. Farragut it's very good uh, destroyer. However, to uh, use your torpedo effectively, it's hard. It's very, very, very hard. Because even with uh, 14 points captain, which I do have the concealment expert, it's still bloody 2 kilometers between my torpedo and my concealment. My torpedo 6.4, the Cosmina Silman 6.6. So you can never ninja torp, even though you have pretty darn good torpedo at tier 6 fast, and you have. You only have 8 of them. Yeah, 8 of them. What I'm trying to say, guys, the T61. It's by far the best uh, tier 6 destroyer in this game of two reasons. Hell, I will say three. Stealthy. As uh, DPM monster as the Farragut Sea Hall. Because the Sea Hall will only give you four uh, guns. And actually has better AP and uh, HE. Uh, and, and the same DPM as the Farragut Sea Hall. And you are one hell of a, I don't know, torpedo realm monster like Kamikaze are, which reload faster than anything else. What I'm trying to say, guys, the T61, it's the ideal destroyer to take fight versus any other destroyer in this game. Torpedo them, delete them, the, the, the enemy uh, destroyer, and then torpedo the hell of 
the enemy battleship so you are a hybrid and i kind of also forgot that you do have the german hydro gaedes hydro which makes the t61 even harder to detect and torpedo in his own smoke uh, what I'm trying to say guys is that and this is uh, truth and my honestly opinion this destroy I like is because even if I'm press right now battle let's battle oh, I don't have a captain but you get the point I will easily make with no wow 100,000 damage it's it's so damn easy to uh, if, if, if a good destroy captain know his position and target the slow uh, battleship because this thing you know it has decent speed with speed flag and speed boost will reach 40 not and something else i also kind of forgot the concealment or epic and the maneuver or epic and of course you may argue that 550 meters uh, turning radius are amazing and it is damn amazing but versus tier 6 uh, let's say fusion fusion has 610 the t61 has 600 even with slightly uh, worse rudder shift uh, so yeah you may argue the fusion uh, will uh, turn and perform a little bit better but come on guys you uh, this thing has 130 millimeters guns however 5.3 reload it's mach it dpm it's a good uh, to put your enemy on fire it's more like a gunboat but versus dealing with other destroyer or you're kind of a mech because you cannot torp another destroyer you, if you see a smoke that is destroyer you cannot just go and torp because you, you're never gonna harm a thing but imagine one of the most lethal and most dangerous uh, destroyer at tier 6 versus any destroyer and any other battleships because he, he, you know this also has uh, this uh, this one also have eight kilometers but let's talk about the uh, her uh, torpedo the torpedo are, are reloading 79 freaking seconds versus 62 or 63 or you for real this is huge thing and something else 60 torps 60 kilometers 60 knots versus 65 knots same range eight kilometers so even though you can make those torpedo work because you do have the concealment versus the torpedo range it still takes ages for your torps to reload and it's only going to be affected versus cruisers and battleships not versus destroyers so for the destroyers you have to gun them and use your big uh, huge hp pool which is not bad but what t61 have even slightly higher hp pool than you and the AP of German vessel are amazing good. They do whopping 3,000 maximum damage. Which, if someone showing you to a T61 perfect broadside, they will kill them faster than anything else. Hell, I will even go to say that uh, the T61 will kill with AP fastest of all destroyers hell even even the Farragut cannot deal with uh, that uh, amount of firepower and it's kind of uh, important because let's uh, let's face it guys if you want to play a hybrid destroyer you can do it use your smoke and guns and torpedo and so on and i honestly believe that makes a damn good destroyer uh, uh, fun to play it's versatile you deal with destroyer you deal with your cruisers you deal versus other destroyers and especially you deliver those torps because main uh, damage it still will come from the torpedo not from the guns but you you can make the guns works as well because the Farragut even though it's a very daka daka uh, 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 gunboat you still have very slow shell arc and I'll talk about the shell arc or 792 but the uh, um, uh, T61 will have higher um, flat arc not as good as the Japanese or the Russian they they don't 
you still need to come uh, closer even though you have the damn range you have a epic range for uh, close to 12 something kilometers is more than enough but all those combined guys and this is my final word i like to say i very much would like to have my t61 in a port and if you like to be so kind and purchase for me be go ahead i will be more than happy to make a professional review but in general uh, t61 have all the tools all the stats everything you need to be uh, to become uh, fun and very good and if let's say if wargame decided to make uh, you know not clan battles but uh, i'm talking about the, the new oncoming uh, uh, not clan battles ranked battles yes ranked bat battles T uh, at tier six I will get that T61 ASAP. I, I believe it's strong as hell. And I'm still saying that she will be the strongest tier 6 premium and non premium destroyer by far. And guys, serious, this it's very hard to achieve good but i like those challenges even though i'm facing tier 7s and sometimes tier 8 uh, cruisers and destroyers i still believe some ships like uh, faragot and some other ships they can still perform uh, so yeah i i'm very hype about t61 please let me know guys this last question what do you think about the new oncoming t61 bad boy would you purchase her uh, are you a destroy captain or on the other hand or if you are a battleship ca captain do you um, don't like that we're giving decide to give more destroyer uh, put more destroyer in this game that's all for today guys subscribe to my channel and always captains fair seas and goodbye